gonna do this quickly and hopefully it catches everything. Yeah, I'm gonna be piercing my lip. Central Libre. Central Libre. I can't talk, but yeah. I'm gonna be piercing my Central Libre. Excuse my messy room, but it'd be like that sometimes. So yeah, I'm just further sterilizing my hands. This is gonna be, I mean, I should say, y'all are not gonna see everything because I already sanitized and marked exactly where I want it. So to save time, we're just gonna go for it. I always get like a little, not nervous, but like, you know, my heart beats a little bit. <laughs> before you do this sort of thing, but yeah, I've been thinking about it for a while, so. Here we go. Oh, and I already um, used mouthwash and everything too, so. And she's done. Yeah, that was easy as fuck. <laughs> and my camera's gonna die, but just want y'all to see. That shit was not difficult at all. Alright, that's another try. Hey guys, so let's put the shelf here for now. I'm trying to hurry because I'm trying to make. Hold on. If I leave y'all there, y'all are gonna fall. So listen, I was thinking of getting this, as I said, probably in my last, in the last clip when I was piercing it, I was thinking about getting this for months now, months. And, um, I really need to find a tripod to like put this down so I don't have to hold it while I'm driving, but this will do for now. So yeah, I've been wanting this for months now and one thing about me is i will think and think and think and overthink some more i think i have adhd like not even just saying it just to say it like i i was telling my husband that too that i'm I, i'm gonna get evaluated for it because i really do think i have adhd the whole analysis paralysis thing if you know you know and yeah that's one thing that i that's a big it's it's a big thing for me put it that way it's i will analyze and overanalyze something into the ground and 
it's literally that like it causes almost like a paralysis not literally but it stops me from actually doing the thing in this case the thing was piercing my lip anyway this is what it's looking like right now this is what time is it? it's about 10 a.m and yeah so it's swollen y'all can't really tell i mean you really can't tell hang on let me try to get better lighting but yeah y'all can't really tell i can tell because i know what my bottom lip usually looks like but to the average person and i'm black i mean i have lips so yeah it's it's not very obvious as i said to the naked eye or to like the person the average person who doesn't know me but i can tell it's swollen once i get up to the light I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like on the inside. Hold on, guys. This is what the inside looks like. I'm gonna try not to get lipstick on our fingers. But, as you can see, little secret. When my camera cut off, I actually lost the, the hole. And so I had to poke it through, but I poked it through from the inside. The same, the, the same hole on the outside, but it came through on a different, in a different hole on the inside and honestly that's probably what that is but it's all good because i mean it's your mouth it'll just fucking close but my first placement was way better and so this this was my first placement and so i managed to use let me tell y'all something a taper pin a taper pin clutch like you cannot it's it's so crucial i mean unless you're a professional and maybe you don't need a taper pin anymore but um for me yeah like i i don't know how I, how I don't know how i did piercings before without a taper pin because in the event that you do lose that hole like which is what happened to me i wouldn't have gotten it without it but anyway i'm glad i did i have to lean up because this is where the sun is at <laughs> usually i like drive way back here but yeah so let me turn this heat down because i don't know why i have the heat on but anyway let me try to get around this car anyway yeah so taper pins are clutch by the way 12 millimeters if you have lips kind of the size of mine you need like you need you need to try to beat this truck because fuck that if you have lips the size of mine or bigger you absolutely need 12 12 millimeters like to pierce with a 12 millimeter barbell i initially tried to do a 10 i said nah <laughs> 10 was not working out luckily i bought a pack with different lengths so with that i was obviously just able to say okay 10 mil is way too small or way too short rather i'm gonna have to do a 12 mil so yes you need a 12 millimeter if your lips are even remotely the size of mine even before like go look at my old videos for reference because obviously as i said now my bottom lip is swollen but i was saying it before too it's gonna get fat as fuck of course of course no, i can't because why wouldn't it it's it's the thing the thing it does anyway yeah so i'm almost to work now this sun is ridiculous yeah so i am starving i'm starving honestly oh let me try to say quickly before i have to put my camera away pain let's turn us this way no maybe not this way is probably better pain level one out of ten bro uh can i park here i don't see anything that says you can't park here so shit somebody's parked here so fuck it hold on y'all why not although i am fighting fucking three tickets right now but we'll just be optimistic and hope we're good so anyway yeah i'm gonna go now i didn't even finish telling oh yeah let me just tell y'all real quick before i go in um pain okay this is probably gonna be as good as it's gonna get um 
pain, one to ten. Central Labray, for me, it was honestly like when I pierced my philtrum. It was legit like a two. Maybe even a one and a half. Like, that shit was so easy. Like, a literal pinch. Granted, my pain tolerance is a little bit higher. I mean, I had... Might be TMI, but I mean, fuck it. I'm a mom, so... This is not anything that other women haven't done. But I had two vaginal births. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Nah. Now that I think about it, no, that doesn't have anything to do with it. <laughs> Scratch that. Because I got, or I pierced my philtrum, Medusa, long before, well not long before, but maybe like about a year before I got pregnant with my first daughter. So, and my pain tolerance was still pretty high. Put it this way, lip piercings are not bad. Like, they are a breeze. Like freaking breeze yeah so if you're gonna get any kind of lip piercing i mean i don't want to say any because maybe if you're going directly through your lips or let me say any surrounding area of your lips i feel like should be a breeze maybe dahlias might be a little little more intense but um because they're like right here in the corners but yeah surrounding lip piercings i'm gonna say so so fucking low on the pain scale anyway i gotta go because it's yeah 10 30 and i need to go into work my job is flexible thank god but yeah um so i will talk to y'all later